And now we move to awards that, as determined by the AAPG Honors and Awards Committee, recognize service, dedication, and achievement. Our first of these is the Pioneer Award, presented annually to longstanding members who have made significant contributions to the association. Today, we honor two outstanding individuals. First, we recognize an AAPG member who was the first professional geologist to serve in the U.S. Congress. But as important as his role was there, his continuing efforts in oil exploration, education, philanthropy, and public service in his home state of Wyoming are what we honor today. Although he was unable to travel to Houston today, we honor John S. Wold, professional geologist, consummate entrepreneur, and exceptional achiever for his lifelong contributions to geology and natural resource development. Please join me in honoring John Wall. And we also honor a geologist from England who made enormous contributions to numerous giant international discoveries. To J. Miles Bowen, who participated in and later led exploration teams for Shell and Enterprise Oil that led to discoveries in Nigeria, the UK North Sea, and Italy including several giant fields. Ladies and gentlemen, Miles Bowen. The AAPG Public Service Award honors contributions by AAPG members to public affairs. And today we honor a man who has actively served on several energy boards in his home state of Wyoming and who has sought to bring geological, scientific, and industry information to the public for his entire career. To Mark J. Dolger, an unassuming gentleman, a successful geological and energy giant, and a man who never says no to requests for help from the governor of his state, his industry, and in particular, to AAPG. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Dolger. AAPG's special awards are given when, in the Executive Committee's judgment, people are deserving of recognition for outstanding accomplishment that goes beyond existing honors or awards. This year we honor two such people. First, to Anthony G. Dory for his contributions on the Northeast Atlantic margin that have proved of seminal value to geoscientists everywhere for being an influential leader in bridging the worlds of industry and academia, and for his leadership in bringing new geological play concepts and new technology to his industry settings. Ladies and gentlemen, for an outstanding career simply doing what he loves most, Tony Doyer. And a special award to Myron Mike Horn, a former AAPG editor, for his invaluable contributions to AAPG and its publications and data. In particular, the development of massive digital databases, atlases for data pages. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Horn. The Grover E. Murray Memorial Distinguished Educator Award is presented for outstanding contributions to geological education. 
This year, we honor two worthy recipients. First, to Lawrence D. Meckel, an inspirational leader for nearly five decades for outstanding achievements in education of students and professionals in integration and development of new exploration concepts for petroleum geologists. Derived from his research in sedimentary geology, geochemistry, geophysics, and petroleum engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, a good friend of Mexico, Larry Meckel. And to Ronald J. Steele for being such an enthusiastic and inspiring leader, supervisor, colleague, and mentor for a whole generation of sedimentologists. Through his unique personal skills combined with scientific curiosity and endurance, his impact on teaching and research has been immense. And as you may read in the Explorer, one of his first graduate students happens to be this year's Outstanding Research Award winners. Ladies and gentlemen, Ronald Steele. This year, seven AAPG members have been selected to receive Distinguished Service Awards presented to those who have distinguished themselves in beneficial, long-term service to AAPG. First, to Deborah E. Ajakaye for her substantial contributions to the development and growth of tertiary geoscience education across Africa, and for her leadership roles and impact in AAPG for the Africa region. Ladies and gentlemen, Deborah Ajakaye. to Herman Darman in recognition of his passionate, energetic, and exceptional effort in promoting geology to wider communities through AAPG and local societies wherever he resides. Ladies and gentlemen, Herman Darman. To Rick L. Erickson for exemplary service to AAPG for significant contributions to the advancement of the science of petroleum exploration and development and for exceptional efforts to ensure professionalism and ethics in geosciences. Ladies and gentlemen, Rick Erickson. To Gretchen M. Gillis for relentless dedication to AAPG publications as elected editor, shortening review cycles and improving perception of the bulletin as the premier publication for petroleum geoscience. Ladies and gentlemen, Chainsaw Gretchen Gillis. To Gina B. Godfrey 
for providing key leadership and vision in guiding the growth of the International Pavilion into a recognized industry program and a valuable asset supporting AAPG's strategic goal of being a global geoscience organization. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gina Gottfried. To Sigrun Johnson, leader, creator, and dedicated professional for her longstanding service to AAPG and the House of Delegates, especially her role in establishing a sustainable and successful AAPG European region. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sigrun Johnson. And to W.C. Rusty Reese for his steadfast, compassionate, and thoughtful leadership, scientific generosity, and dedicated and enduring service to AAPG and his profession. Ladies and gentlemen, a good friend, Rusty Reese.